Hey everyone, Josh with Finishing Lines. Today we are gonna go over some product details and some installation tips for our B and D series Honda staging brake plates. This is our Finishing Lines B and D series staging brake mounting plates. They fit the EF, EG and EK Civic chassis, as well as the DA, DB, and DC Integra chassis using B or D series power plants. The first thing you'll notice are the four large mounting holes for mounting the plate to the top of the tunnel. The two lower mounting holes to the rear of the vehicle will use the factory welded on nuts on the top of the tunnel that are used for the factory shifter. The two front holes will not have holes in the chassis from the factory. You will have to mark those and drill them with an eight millimeter drill bit. On the back side of the plate, we have two countersunk holes to allow it to slide easily over the two factory welded on nuts on top of the tunnel so it won't require any modification of the tunnel to fit that area. Now let's discuss the staging brake mounting pattern to mount the staging brake to the plate. Uh, the first ones we're gonna discuss are these two inside mount top and bottom. Those holes fit our finishing lines billet handbrakes, Willwood handbrakes, CNC 402 reservoir style handbrakes, KLM handbrakes, and many others of very common pattern. Next one we'll move on to are these four outside holes. Those four fit a CNC 412 pass-through style handbrake. And then finally the remaining holes fit a push-pull Jamar style handbrake commonly sold by FCS Race. When ordering your staging brake mounting plate, you will notice a drop down menu for the hardware option. This is gonna be either for a G4 shifter or for a stock style shifter. Selecting the correct option will help us get you the right hardware. Okay, first step to installation, go ahead and set the plate on top of the tunnel. Install two rear bolts running through the factory welded on nuts on the top of the tunnel for the factory shifter. Once you have that mounted, you wanna go ahead and mark your two top bolt hole locations with a Sharpie. Once you've got that done, you can center punch and drill with an eight millimeter drill bit. Once you've marked and drilled your holes for the top two, this is what you should see on the top of the tunnel. The two holes that you marked and drilled, and then the two existing welded on tunnel nuts. All right, now we've got the plate back on top of the tunnel. We took the two shorter bolts, put them in the top position with the nuts up from the bottom side of the vehicle. Then the two longer bolts are running up from the bottom side. And then we've taken a nut and tightened it down onto the top of the plate. Okay, so now that we've got the plate on top of the tunnel, we need to mount the handbrake to the plate. Went ahead and pre-installed that here. Um, before we move on, let's just get a look at this beautiful finishing lines billet handbrake. Doesn't get much better than that. So this base attaches to the plate with two bolts. The first one is gonna be within the base here. And as you can see, there's an angled adjustment slot. I've also got one in the front under the lever, also angled for adjustment. And once you've got your desired angle, you can just tighten those two bolts down. All right, final step of our handbrake installation. We're gonna go ahead and slide our finishing lines master cylinder with clevis installed through the back bore of the staging brake base. Go ahead and install our two supplied bolts to secure it to the base. And then we have a bolt and a nylock nut to slide through and fasten the clevis to the lever. Do not over tighten this so that you pinch the clevis onto the lever. Just engage the nylock nut so it doesn't back off. We're using it as a pivot pin. We're not trying to torque this down. 
if you over tighten it, you will break the master cylinder push rod.